Nail polish mixtures aren't the same for every single nail polish and every single brand. Um, the ingredients are always listed on the back, but the amount that's in them is never released. And, um, okay, some of the ingredients are adhesive polymers, which make sure the polish stays on the nail. Um, plasticizers, which keeps the uh, polish flexible after drying, so your nail is stiff hard. Um, thickening agents, which would, for example, keep the glitter in the polish if you had glitter nail polish. Um, ultraviolet stabilizers, which make um, the nail polish stay the same color when exposed to the sunlight. So I'm going to tell you about the two main ingredients in nail polish. They are nitrocellulose and ethyl acetate. Nitrocellulose is made of little tiny cotton pieces in nail polish, but you obviously cannot see them. And then um, it's also the main ingredient in gunpowder, so that's what makes nail polish so flammable. And then ethyl acetate is a solvent used in many, many oil-based like paints and lacquers and stuff like that. Um, when alone, it smells like pear drops. It has a very low boiling point. And um, coffee, beans, and tea leaves are decaffeinated with ethyl acetate. Also, it's used in perfumes. Um, the reason why you spray perfume on you and it dries, but you still smell good, is because of ethyl acetate that has evaporated. I am going to test the flammability of these three nail polishes. They all have warning labels about how flammable they are. Um, I have one Sinful Colors brand, one OPI brand, and an InstaDry brand. Um, my hypothesis is that the InstaDry brand will burn more because ethyl acetate is evaporating faster, but we'll just have to see. They all seem to burn around the same. Um, I think this is because what makes them burn is the nitrocellulose, and the nitrocellulose content is probably around the same for each um, nail polish mixture. So now I'm going to answer some of the few common questions about nail polish. First, why and how does it dry? Well, once applied, the polish is exposed to air and the solvent evaporates, which is ethyl acetate, and it turns the liquid nail polish hard. If the solvent is added back to it, it will become liquid again. And this also explains why nail polish hardens and cannot be used any longer if you leave your bottle of nail polish out and in the open. Why should you shake the bottle of nail polish before use? Well, the particles can only be attached to the solvent for so long, so that explains why your bottle of nail polish won't last you for eternity. It's common that it'll only last you a couple of years, if that, because you'll probably spill it, use it all, leave it open, something like that. And then also shaking the bottle helps to restore everything and like put everything back together and mix everything up again. Why does nail polish smell so bad? Well, when the ethyl acetate and butyl acetate combine, I guess they combine and make a very, very raunchy odor. How do you remove nail polish from your nails? Well, acetone, which is a solvent, um, is used to break down the polymer, which is the nail polish. And so it gets the nail polish soft at first, and it, it doesn't get time to allow the ethyl acetate to evaporate again and harden because it's on the cotton So here are some fun facts about nail polish that you probably don't know. Back in the old times, Incas used to paint eagles on their nails. So yes, it has been around for quite a while. Tar paint came around in the 1920s. It inspired people to start painting their nails. Pretty interesting. Um, if you're obsessed with painting your nails and you never remove the nail polish, your nails might just turn yellow.